Good evening, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. We're going to talk about operating systems for SDR Uno. Uh, we're going to discuss minimum CPU requirements for SDR Uno and just some optimization options that we can perform within SDR Uno to better suit the lower end CPUs that are still in use today. SDR Uno will run completely fine on Windows 7, Windows 8, I'm sorry, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 8, uh, Windows 10, no problem whatsoever. If you're running an old CPU, let's say uh, a Core 2 Duo, which is pretty old, you can still run SDR Uno. You're not going to get 10 megahertz of bandwidth. You're going to want to run the RSP in low IF mode Keep an eye on the uh, the cycle bars here. That's going to show how much SDR Uno is putting a strain on the system and how the CPU is running in general. And you can further decimate. And what decimating will do is further reduce the fixed bandwidth, which is set at 1.536 megahertz. So in low IF mode, you are set at 1.536 megahertz of bandwidth. In zero IF mode, which is the default mode of operation, you're able to select the various sample rates here, two through 10. So for the, for this video, I'm, I'm going to run it in low IF mode. I'm going to tune to a station here. Let's check and see if voice of Greece is up on 9420. I will unmute it. That's the squelch. We'll lower the volume. And we can decimate. If I'm getting a spike here in these bars, just decimate by two and see if the bars drop down a bit. If two is not doing it, decimate by four. And you'll see the, the bandwidth is going to drop here. Now, changing the decimation, let's mute this. Changing the decimation is going to change the amount of bandwidth that you see within the spectrum. So keep that in mind. So if I decimate by 32 and I'm fully zoomed out, that's what I'm going to see, but I can greatly zoom in. And as you can see, I'm not calibrated. Here's the carrier. I'm on 9420. Let's calibrate real quick. All right, here's WWV at 15. I'll set it to SAM, 6, Cal, and we're off by 10 hertz. We'll calibrate and watch the carrier. Boom, right in the center. We're calibrated, go back to AM, and we'll go back to Voice of Greece. And we're spot on. So, low-end CPUs run the RSP in low IF mode and decimate and that will put not as much as a strain on that type of processor that's being used. If you're running a, like I said, an a Intel Atom processor or a dual core or quad core, run perfectly fine. If uh, you want to get into digital decoding, decoding uh, shortwave digital transmissions like WeFax, uh, MilAir, L, uh, uh, Stanag 4285 or any of those uh, exotic transmissions, you have to run a decoder. You're also going to need to run a virtual audio cable, which we'll get into videos uh, outlining that setup, to pipe the audio from SDR Uno into these decoders. And this all puts strain on the CPU. You're, you really want to optimize your operating system, kill background processes uh, if you don't have to disable the antivirus from auto scanning as you're using SDR Uno. Uh, you can check to see what's going on in the startup of Windows and, and get rid of those startup processes if they're not needed. Uh, there's, if you're running Windows 10, I'll put a link in the description to really optimize Windows 10 uh, to get the most performance out of it. And if, if I can, I'll look for, for one for Windows 7 as well. And if I find one, I'll add it to the uh, description. That wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Now the next video, I'm going to go over 
uh, basic decoding. Just very, very basic stuff of what you can decode on the bands. See you guys in the next one. 7-3.